Welcome back, Clay Babies. I'm so glad that you guys are back to join us for another video. This book that we're going to be reading today is going to be so exciting. This book is called Miss Nelson is Missing. And with this book, Miss Nelson is Missing, what I want you to think about as we're reading this book is have you ever not been on your best behavior for your teacher? Uh, think about that for a little bit. And as you think about that, when we read this book, see if you can identify yourself in this book or see if you can identify maybe some of your friends. Miss Nelson is Missing is written by Harry Allard and James Marshall. The kids in room 207 were misbehaving again. <laughs> Spitballs stuck to the ceiling. Paper planes whizzed through the air. They were the worst behaved class in the whole school. Now, settle down, said Miss Nelson in a sweet voice. <laughs> but the class would not settle down. <laughs> they whispered and giggled. <laughs> they squirmed and made faces. They were even rude during story hour. And they always refused to do their lessons. Something will have to be done, said Miss Nelson. What do you guys think Miss Nelson is thinking about? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think she's going to do? Read and let's find out. The next morning, Miss Nelson did not come to school. Wow, yelled the kids. Now we can really act up. They began to make more spitballs and paper planes. Today, let's just be terrible, they said. Not so fast, hissed an unpleasant voice. What do you think that is? Or who do you think that is? I'm a little scared. Are you scared? A woman in an ugly black dress stood before them. I am your new teacher, Miss Rio Swap. And she wrapped the desk with her ruler. Where's Miss Nelson? Asked the kids. Never mind that, snapped Miss Swamp. Open those arithmetic books. Miss Nelson's kids did. As they were told, they could see that Miss Swamp was a real witch. She meant business. Right away, she put them to work and she loaded them down with homework. We'll have no story hour today, said Miss Swamp. Keep your mouth shut. Said Miss Swamp. Sit perfectly still, said Miss Swamp. And if you misbehave, you'll be sorry, said Miss Swamp. Days went by, and there was no sign of Miss Nelson. The kids missed Miss Nelson. Maybe we should try to find her, they said. Some of them went to the police. Detective McSmog was assigned to the case. He listened to their story. He scratched his chin. Hmm, he said. Hmm. 
I think Miss Nelson is missing. Detective McSmog would not be much help. Other kids went to Miss Nelson's house. The shades were tightly drawn and no one answered the door. In fact, the only person they did see was the wicked Miss Viola Swamp coming up the street. If she sees us, she'll give us more homework. They got away just in time. Hmm, think with me, friends. Clay babies, what do you think? Miss Viola Swamp is coming down the street. She's going to the front of Miss Nelson's home. The kids went to Mrs. Nelson's home to visit her. They saw Miss Viola Swamp and ran away. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe something terrible happened to Miss Nelson. Maybe she was gobbled up by a shark, said one of the kids. But that didn't seem likely. Maybe Miss Nelson went to Mars, said another kid. But that didn't seem likely either. I know, claimed one know-it-all. Maybe Miss Nelson's car was carried off by a swarm of angry butterflies. But that was probably the least likely of all. The kids in room 207 became very discouraged. It seemed that Miss Nelson was never coming back and they would be stuck with Miss Viola Swamp forever. And they heard footsteps in the hall. Here comes the witch, they whispered. Hello, children, someone said in a sweet voice. <gasps> what do you guys think that it might be? It was Miss Nelson. Did you miss me? She asked. We certainly did, cried all the kids. Where were you? That's my little secret, said Miss Nelson. How about a story hour? Oh, yes, cried the kids. Miss Nelson noticed that during story hour, no one was rude or silly. What brought about this lovely change? She asked. That's our little secret, said the kids. Back home, Miss Nelson took off her coat and hung it in the closet, right next to an ugly black dress. When it was time for bed, she sang a little song. I'll never tell, she said to herself with a smile. Hmm, can you guys look at the picture and tell me if you figured out what happened? Let me know in the comments below if you figured out what happened in the story. We see up here it says wig upside down. We see the dress here. We see the black shoes here. Let me know. She has a little secret. P.S. Detective McSmog is working on a new case. He is now looking for Miss Viola Swamp. Hmm. Detective McSmog wasn't really any help at all. But what I want to focus on from this story is this was such an interesting story. This story had so many different parts to it. But the part that I want to ask you guys about was Mrs. Swamp and Mrs. Nelson. How many times have you had a teacher that was so extremely nice to you and you misbehaved in class and then you leave that teacher's class and then you go on to the next grade and then you're upset because you have a teacher that is maybe maybe discouraging teacher, a teacher that is not as friendly, not as nice, not as kind, and you want to go back to your old class because you missed the teacher that was extremely kind. 
reason why I bring this point up is because I think that it's important that you treat all of your chief teachers with kindness and with respect because you never know. We have a responsibility as Clay Babies because we are dreamers to go after our dreams and to go after those things that we would like to achieve. And in seeking to achieve those things, teachers help us towards our goals. So the next time you're in the presence of your teacher, next time you're around your teacher, next time you're with your teacher, just tell your teacher how much you love your teacher and how much you appreciate your teacher for the hard work that they do in helping you to continue to be a dreamer. Remember, clay babies are dreamers. You and I, we're dreamers. And let's continue to dream together. Be sure if you like this video to hit like that like button, to hit the subscribe button as well. But then also make sure to turn on the notifications so that you can know when we upload new books. Let's continue dreaming together. Clay babies are dreamers.